I freaking love Evernote. It organizes so much of my life at this point that I honestly don't know what I would do without it. And one of the things I love using Evernote for the most is the central hub for all the research that I've done on landscape locations that I want to shoot. So today I want to show you how I do just that. Hey guys, Craig McCormick here from DestructivePixels.com and recently I did a video on how I do my research for finding awesome landscape locations. But as the title suggested, that was only for the research part of the process. Once I've got all that information, I want to have it all together into one place and have it easily accessible from wherever I am in the world. And that is where Evernote comes in. For those of you that don't know, Evernote is basically a freemium program that is available on pretty much every platform or service, and it's used for collecting and archiving notes. Now these notes can take on multiple different forms. It can be typed notes, it can be lists, it can be audio memos, it can be pictures, and it can also be web page clippings and screenshots. And it's those last two that we're really interested in for today. Evernote have an extension that you can download and install into pretty much any browser. And this allows you to clip or save a web page into your Evernote. And I do this and I save all of the pages that I want to keep on a location that I am researching. Before I jump in here and actually show you how I do all this, I do want to say, although there are paid versions of Evernote, you can use the bulk of Evernote's features for free once you set up your account and install the program. There is one feature that I use in the paid subscription model that I will talk about later on. It's not completely necessary, but personally, I really love that feature. So now you know a little bit about Evernote, let's go ahead and show you how I collect all my research together. Let's go ahead and use the same image and resources that we found in the previous video on how to research locations. If you haven't seen that video, you can click up the link here and I'll also put links to it down below. And the image is of a famous mountain in the Scottish Highlands and the things we want to save are a couple of images from 500px, a Wikipedia page, a hiking website and a photographer's blog. The first step is really just to pull all this information into Evernote. Don't be too concerned with organizing it just yet. We're really just more focused on getting all the information into Evernote first and then we'll concentrate on organizing that stuff later. Once you install the Web Clipper extension, a little Evernote logo will appear in your browser's taskbar. And this is what we're going to use to clip all our information and put it into Evernote. Now, I usually start this process with clipping all the 500px stuff, and that's just a personal preference. And you can save it a couple of different ways, but my personal preference is to use the screenshot function inside the Web Clipper. We do this by clicking on the Web Clipper icon and then selecting the screenshot option from the menu. And it's just a simple matter of clicking and dragging the area that we want to screenshot. From here, it usually pulls in the title of the photograph as the title for your note, which is really convenient, but you can change that if you want to. And I do this process until I have all the 500px images saved. And then from there, I want to go and clip some of the web pages that are more text based, like the Wikipedia page. Once again, click on the Web Clipper icon, but this time select the Simplified Article tool. And this is one of my favorite features for this Web Clipper because it saves a web page but removes all the junk and just saves the information that you want to read and it saves it in a really easy to read format for later viewing. And all I need to do is just keep doing this process for all the web pages that I want to save. It's really as simple as that, it's just clicking the icon and then going to save. Evernote does a great job of just saving the information you want and any of the images that are actually in the article, which is great for us photographers. Now that we have all our information inside of Evernote, let's do a little bit of organizing so it's a little bit easier to find. I should point out that you can pretty much stop here with organizing if you really want to. One of Evernote's key features is its search functionality, which means that if you don't want to do any of this organizing stuff, you can just search for what you're looking for. But if you're anything like me, you'll end up using Evernote for pretty much anything, and it's worth its weight in lost brain cells to do a little bit of organizing up front. Evernote uses a folder structure called Notebooks to store its notes. And depending on how meticulous you want your notebook structure to be, you might be happy with just one folder called Photo Locations. But for me, I do research on a lot of different locations all around the world, so I actually have multiple notebooks. One for Hong Kong, one for Shanghai, and one for Scotland. But I also have a general Photo Locations notebook that I store anything else that I find interesting but isn't particular for one of the places that I generally go to. It's always useful to have one of these because often when you're searching the web, you'll find something really cool. And it's really easy just to save it into one folder if you don't actually have like a specific place that you're going to and you're not doing research for a location at that particular time. 
To keep all of my location notebooks into one area, I create them into a stack. And think of a stack as basically one big notebook with a lot of smaller notebooks in it. And it's really as easy as just clicking and dragging one notebook on top of the other. It's worth changing the name of the stack though, because it generally just pulls in one of the random notebook names and then puts the word stack at the end. So definitely change that, otherwise you might get a little bit confused with the folder structure. Now that you've created your notebooks, it's as easy as just clicking and dragging all your notes into that notebook. And in this instance, we want to drag all this Scotland research into my Scotland photo locations notebook. One thing I like to do once I've gathered all my information on a location is to merge all those notes into one note. And that way I don't have to go through multiple notes to find a specific piece of information that is stored in one of the notes. And the way you do this is by holding your command or control key and clicking on all the notes that you want to merge. And then from there, a little menu option will appear and you can just click on merge notes. And that way, all your information and research on one location is in one note. Extremely helpful if you have a lot of information like I do. Remember how I mentioned earlier about a particular feature that's only in the paid version of Evernote? Well, here it is. You can save your notes for offline viewing, which is a huge plus for me, especially if I am out on location and I need to research and pull up a piece of information that I have found in my research. Because sometimes, you know, you have no phone data or anything like that. So it's generally really helpful for me. And also because I use Evernote for so many things now, I find myself opening up Evernote when I'm on planes or I'm traveling somewhere and I don't have an internet connection. Now, the paid version is not necessary for most people. In fact, I actually used Evernote for free for multiple years before I ended up paying for it. And the only reason I paid for it was because I wanted a bunch of the extra features that are in the premium version, like business card scans and all that kind of fun stuff. It's definitely worth having a look at, but you really, really do not need the paid version of Evernote. The free version does 99% of what you want. So there you have it. You now know exactly how I use Evernote for saving all my landscape photography research. But have you ever used Evernote before? Do you use it for a cool feature that I didn't mention in this video? Are you planning on giving Evernote a spin now that you know a little bit more about it? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. And if this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. I'd love to have you subscribe. I do weekly photography videos where I share with you the tools, tips, tricks, and techniques that I've learned. And I share them with you so you can get back out there and shoot better images faster. I also have a special video series called Vlogs where I bring a little video camera along with me when I go out to shoot my images. And I bring you guys along with me for the entire ride from start to finish. And that includes going to the location, scouting for shots once we're there, composing my shots, the settings I'm using, the filters I'm using, and everything else in between. I really enjoy doing them and people really seem to enjoy those too. So if that or any of the other videos on my channel take your fancy, I implore you to go have a look. And if you want to learn more about me and my photography, you can head over to destructivepixels.com. Thank you very much for watching guys. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.